Hi everyone. This is a new spot. It's a, not a new spot. It, I'm in the joining section of the old cabin and the new. And I've shifted this table from around the corner where it was actually really a bit redundant. Southeast Open Studios is all finished, done and dusted. And a chance to say thank you so much to everyone that came and visited, to the lovely people that bought paintings, unframed work, cards. I'm over the moon. As much as anything, just to get people's feedback. It's so interesting. Obviously, everything is subjective. One person likes something, another person knows that they're, they're, that's not for them. It's just really nice to get some feedback. One painting in particular, which thrills me because it's one of my favourites, really got the, the kind of overall vote. So that's really, really nice. I have to say here that one lovely lady came in and she gave constructive advice on a painting that she particularly liked. I, she, in her words, if you did, if it had a little bit more work here or a little bit here, I think I'd really, I'd love it 100%. I took that on board, I, I put it into play and she's right, it's, it's improved the painting. So constructive suggestions, is so very different to a critique that can be completely negative and put you in a place where you don't where you just feel depressed it's a negative it's a negative and it it just stops you in your tracks constructive suggestions advice people's thoughts and ideas around what you're doing are so welcome and so useful because they actually get you moving they actually feed into what you're trying to do. The, the same lady really is the precursor to the card work and the moving of the table because she actually said, where are the cards that go with this work? And I said, I'm, they're just not, I'm not really, they're not really my thing. And she just said, you should have some cards. So double whammy thanks to her because she not only motivated me and got me moving on the cards but I'm grateful for the suggestions that she made on on a painting. So getting the feedback from Southeast Open Studios, having people visit, just tremendous like so I'm really looking forward I'll do that next year. I'm rambling now so I, I need to get to the point of today. I moved the table out, the reason for moving the table out, nice nice view out of this window actually. I've got a nice little really old seat on wheels. The wheels are slightly broken and another visitor asked me where these mats were from. If I, I don't know, I will. I have several of these and they're good to just protect the floor. So I've got several of these and we found these, I don't know if you can see, in Ikea. And you can wash them, move them around, and they're particularly useful. So I have a new spot. The reason I have a new spot is because these making these cards, I need a clean, a totally clean area. So here I am. Oh look, right next to the heater. So I've just come back from um, some time in the French Alps after, after Open Studios finished. And unlike Instagram, where it's very much real time, the YouTube videos, I am actually filming a couple of weeks ahead of what you see. And the reason for that is because I, I have to edit and I feel so much better if I've got one or two videos in the bank. I love it when you come back from any little bit of time away, you see everything with real fresh eyes. I find that really rewarding, I love it. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop here because for all I know, I've rambled on and, uh, and it might not be recording.
just before just before we went on holiday i found a, a fantastic new mug i have a slight thing no i have a thing a big thing <laughs> i like um mug cups here i am then the point of the main point of what I'm trying to talk to you about. All packaged up, thrilled to bits. This one in particular, I've got, I can see over on the other table, I've got about five renditions of this pair. Oh, I thought, wow, it's a t-shirt, it's another t-shirt. So what I have done, I've ordered I've ordered it, I've uploaded it, and when it arrives, I'll pretend that I'm um, an, uh, uh, what do they call them? What do they call them? Not an informer. I'm not an informer. What do they call people? I love YouTube. Anyway, I'm rambling again. So what I thought I'd do is I will have my own little unboxing when my t-shirt, my next t-shirt comes. Uh, t-shirts and t-shirts. So these are the, the Amsterdam acrylic marker. Same thing with the Posca, you push down and you get that nice The release. other thing to say is you have to be prepared to spread out a bit. Um, and then have a have a break and when things are dry. Uh, this guy, this is another in the middle stage, so he needs a bit of attention. Might be an example of overworking. All packaged up, thrilled to bits. I'm so thrilled to bits with these guys. 